let's start lying on our backs in Supta Bharakanasana. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Just let the arms relax by your side, palms facing up. Close the eyes. And just a gentle attention on your breath. Just breathing in and out through the nose. Just noticing the surfaces of the body that are in contact with the mat. And as you exhale, allow those surfaces just to get a little bit deeper. So it's as if that back part of your body is imprinting onto the mat. Let's bring the knees together, separate the feet hip, uh, hip distance apart, place that right foot on top of the left thigh, flexing the right foot, feed the right hand through the middle and then interlace the fingers on the outside of that left shin bone. Inhale and as you exhale try to bring the legs in towards your chest. Keep flexing the right foot but let that left foot just be relaxed and that right knee draws away from the right shoulder and you're just very gently trying to draw those hips back down to the mat so try not to lift the hips all the way off the mat nice easy deep breath take one more inhale as you exhale try to bring the legs in a little bit closer and then let's release those legs down and placing that left foot on top of the right thigh, bring the legs in, feed the left hand through the center and interlace the fingers around that right shin bone. Take an inhale. As you exhale, trying to bring the legs in towards the chest, just to where you can. So we're just getting into that left hip now. What's the glutes and the external rotating muscles of the deep hip. You can direct your breath to where you need it in the body. So if you're feeling it really strongly, take the breath where you need it. And as you exhale, imagine that tension just softening, leaving the body. Take one more inhale and exhale, draw the legs in a little bit closer. And let's release the legs out. Let's open your eyes if they were closed, roll over to one side, make your way up to a seated position and cross the legs, stepping back into down facing dog. Feet a hip distance apart, hands a shoulder distance apart. Looking forward towards the hands, bring that right hand a little bit close towards the left and then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Come down to the left knee. So we're coming into a, a deeper lower lunge. So getting into this left quadricep, left psoas. Easy breath. Option if you'd like to go a little bit deeper here to come down onto your forearms. Palms flat onto the mat. Keep the back of the neck long. And very gently drawing that right heel towards that left knee every now and then just to see that that engagement is still there through the center of the body. And you're not just collapsing through the back to get into that left hip. Take an inhale to walk the hands back up and then walk the right foot back to the center. Right hand comes to the outside of the right leg. Take an inhale and then exhale, walking your hands back and straightening that right leg to Ardha Hanumanasana. So flex the right foot. Inhale here. And as you exhale, feel free to come down a little bit further 
if you've got the space you can walk your hands out a little bit further as well gently drawing that right hip back keep flexing the right foot towards the face inhale to bend through that right leg and then lift that back leg off step it forward about a third of the way and then start to straighten both legs so both feet are parallel here draw that left hip forward right hip back flexing the right foot towards the face if you want to make a stronger option to just keep it flat down if it's feeling like it's plenty for you this is a very strong pose for a lot of us and then take an inhale bend into that right leg exhale stepping back into Ardha Mukha Svanasana and here just pedal out through the feet right and left a few times and you can just circle the hips out as well and then finding stillness for a moment bring that left hand closer towards the right hand so you can step the left foot to the outside and then come down onto that right knee so we're coming into our lizard variation here so you can stay up on the hands or if you'd like to go a little bit deeper you can bring those forearms down when you're ready Try to draw that left hip towards the midline. Then when inhaling, come back up onto the hands, walk that left foot back to the center. And then as you exhale, start to straighten that left leg, walking your hands back, flex the left foot towards the face. And when you're ready, you can just start to fold forward over that front leg to where you can, or you can just stay up without folding too far forward. Try to keep that right knee in line with the right hip so you're not sitting too far back towards the heel there. Inhale to walk the hands forward bending to that left leg. Step that right foot about a third of the way forward and then start to straighten both legs just to where you can. Keep both legs parallel option here to flex that left foot towards the face relaxing the head down and inhale bend into that front leg Exhale, stepping back into your down dog. Looking forward in between the hands, just come down onto the right knee and the left knee, sit over to one side. Just extend the legs out and then draw that right knee in towards you. Take hold of the left foot, or the right foot, sorry, with your left hand and cradle that right knee. If possible, you can scoop that right foot right into the nook of the left elbow. You're trying to draw the shin bone right up towards the chest. So you're getting that 90 degree angle with the leg. If you can't get that, that's totally fine. Just hold it where you can. Keep flexing the right foot so you're not sickling the ankle. Lengthen up through the lower back. And just breathe. This is quite strong. And we're just going to add a gentle rock from side to side so it just gets a little bit deeper into that hip and then take it over gentle twist towards the left you won't go very far turn the head to look slightly over towards the left as well keep breathing and then let's release that leg out give the legs a little bit of a shake out and we'll go to the other side so bend that left leg up taking hold of the left foot with the right hand cradling the left knee if you can you can just bring that left foot all the way into the nook of the right elbow 
cradling around with the left arm, drawing the legs in, or that leg in as close as you can. And a steady gaze with the eyes. Try not to round too much through the lower back here. So keep lifting up through that lower back. Long spine. And little rock from side to side. And then little twist towards the right. Turn the head to look over towards the right as well. Keep breathing. And then let's release back to centre. Gently release the leg out. Take an inhale, extend the arms up towards the ceiling and then exhale folding forward into Bashimottanasana. You can just rest the hands onto the calves or the ankles or if you can hold the feet you can hold the feet as well. And just really letting it go here. Allow the breath to slow down. Allowing the shoulders to be soft and the face soft. And inhaling, coming up, just so you can lay yourself back down. Open the feet as wide as the mat. And we're just going to drop the knees over towards the right and then take an inhale and exhale, drop them over towards the left. So the feet are open up a little bit wider here. Take an inhale, exhale, drop them to the right, turning the head to the left. Inhale up through center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center. And now extending both legs out into your Shavasana. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Closing the eyes. And just with each breath, allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. Imagining the air around you being really soft, slightly caressing the body. I'm just going to rest here for another few moments. And you can stay here for as long as you need to. If you'd like to start to come out, you can just wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, bending the knees and rolling over to the right hand side. And just staying here for a few moments. Thanks so much for joining me today. Namaste.